So, first off, for the recording, welcome to Baxter by Night. Set in Vampire the Masquerade Fifth Edition, all copies and all that jazz. To it's see, is it is it still White Wolf, isn't it? Under Paradox, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, disclaimer: This is a horror game. It will feature. Uh, it will have scenes of a violent and sexual and disturbing nature. Very much so, especially with this lot. Please be warned. <laughs> yeah, we're terrible. Okay. And on Speak for yourself, I'm an innocent angel. It's in my name. So, we'll begin. She's the worst. With introductions of the city. And a bit of music. Baxter is a small city in Idaho. Recently, the kindred of the city have experienced turmoil. The Camarilla that tried to move in there lost their prince, Prince Valjean. He was assumed missing and now has been succeeded by Prince Cass. The Annex, new to the city, previously not unorganised, have begun to get themselves together. Falling now under Prince... Uh, no, it's Baron. He's a real dad. Baron Martinez is gathered together to lead them. And the city also has another group. Our beautiful, beautiful country. Who came together in the city quite recently. Together, they found themselves facing a horror that they didn't even know about. Creatures called Drugar began to stalk through the city. They moved away through politics, making some friends, and making some enemies along the way. More enemies than friends, I'd say. I Would feel you... that was a pause for me to say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was my fault too when I wasn't the storyteller. <laughs> So Again, come, still the angel of the group. We come back to the city. Last we left, the coterie had fought against Dawnstar. We tried to raise something called the dragon back to the city. In doing so, injured most of the party, leaving only A standing. During this time, one of your own was taken. Taken by one of your enemies. Or their enemies, at least. Wolfgang Wimmer. And to top this off, there are many missing throughout the city. Including Reggie, sire of a former leader of what could have classed as the enemy. We begin four days after the fight. And we begin in a bedroom while I change the music. Before we do that, let's have a brief round of introductions for everyone. So we'll start off with Abe. Hi, I'm <laughs> Abe. Uh, Abe is a, uh, well, he was a, uh, what age was he again? I forget. A 19 year old child of the streets, to say the least. Ugly as sin, just because, well, he grew up on the streets, malnourished. Stick thin, really tall, uh, lanky, lanky teenager. Uh, mostly wears ripped layers of uh, clothing, uh, mismatched, mismatched, mismatched. Uh, you know, uh, always wearing a beanie, 
you know, lanky, horrible hair. You know, someone that you would just not notice, or when you did notice, you'd kind of not want to be near. Always had cats. There's always cats around Abe. Abe likes cats. Abe really likes cats. No one else likes cats, especially not when cats are around Abe. <laughs> Abe always has cats. <laughs> Excellent. Next introduction. I am Angel Fox. There we go. I'm from the clan Ventru, the superior clan of all the clans. I'm a, I say, good looking Native American. I'm. I'm here doing business, yet my coterie members are causing me problems as usual. And just so you know, I did clean up Abe. He's not as greasy as he was before. Hmm, what else can I tell you? Oh yes, I'm also a very important member and currently the leader of this coterie group. Nice to meet you, Zoe. Hi, I'm Bill the Gangrel, and I would hardly disagree with Angel's adventure of the superior clan, but that's an argument for another day. I'm travelling up from LA as I have been a little jaded with the Anarch Wars down there, too many barons dividing up territory like camis. And somebody has mentioned a problem with my sire in this city that and an old friend has called in a favour. Things should get interesting. Hi. Just to confuse you all, I am a girl, but I will be being a male. A male called Cho Shong Han. From South Korea and a well-known idol there, his stage name is Kyle. Through various difficult upbringings and harsh expectations placed on his shoulder, he's maybe not as altogether as he wants everyone to make out. He's 31, was embraced into the clan Toriador, has been owned by his sire at least three-ish years, still unreleased. He is the type that has everything but owns nothing. Everything is at his sire's whim. He's six foot two, stunning with pale Asian skin, amber eyes, and his hair is currently Bleach blonde, but with black at the roots. Life in South Korea is hard when you're, well, different. As much as BTS likes to say, all forms of love are embraced. That's not quite true. So, when his sire wanted to move and have a branch in America stretch out, he thought, hmm, this would be a good chance. So he jumped at it. Off to back, so he went, thinking he's finally free from under his sire a lot. Turns out he's not as free from his sire as he wished. He likes to keep to himself, try and keep out of all this kindred politics. Still, it was going well. Until he meet, met this coterie, and a young, two-day-old embrace by the name of Derek. Derek Hamlin. Derek Hamlin, who to save his life is now blood bonded to Kyle. Something he feels very strongly against. However, Derek has been taken. This does not sit well with Kyle. And this is where Kyle was left. Excellent. And I will oh, be. Uh, it, was, it was a gangrel, by the way. <laughs> You forgot to mention that. He keeps forgetting things like that. He's not a very good vampire. He's, he's young. He's young. <laughs> he's busy with his cats. That is our quarter for this evening, and I will be storyteller as we come back to what is episode one that you've heard, but episode two of Baxter by Night. We begin four days after. We begin in a dark room. Oh, that is the that is the same thing. That is the same YouTube link. So hang on. 
whoever's in the dark room is currently having fun with their media board. We began in a dark room. Is that music coming through? What is going on here? Breaking everything. You've stopped it, that's why. Hmm. Yeah. No. break <laughs> we begin it's a dark and stormy night it comes over Baxter can you hear me okay we begin with Kayo in the dark room as you awaken for the evening get out of your bed rising I'm going down. Darker than usual. That's worrying. In that case, you'll be reaching out to make sure Tay Yang was. You look around the room. You can't see him with you. Surrounding you, it's one of your rooms. The dragon. It's Dragon Enterprises. Everything <laughs> just the way you left. You look around, catching me. yourself in the mirror, find yourself drawn in. You can see, um. looking around, face, the lines and the winds have healed from before. Since Taeyang is not with him and it's stormy weather, he'll feel unsettled and because of that begin to hum to himself lowly. He began humming the lullaby sang to you before. Eyes locked on the mirror, looking over yourself. <laughs> of course you'd be singing that song, wouldn't you? You hear the voice behind you. He's going to turn around and then realize that his blue scarred back is in the mirror and sidestep away from the mirror, looking for this voice. You know, I've seen it all before. Sitting there on the bed is a figure you recognize well. About five foot eight, pale skin in the moonlight. His cut, boyish features. He looks so familiar. You find your hand reaching up around your neck as you're haunted by the image of she. Not often you get to see this, is it? You're not here. <laughs> You're not real. His humming is going to kind of intensify. Oh. What happened? What happened? I thought you said I was always with you. You yeah. are. He He's going to gonna try and grab at the dog tag that he always wears. You reach up your hand. Find nothing. As you feel around, you can feel a small cord. Like an imprint against your neck. Your throat feels tight. Still carrying these around. I'll Look never the take them off. He's holding them. The dog tags hanging from his hand, glinting in the moonlight. Tell me, 
Does it make you feel better? I mean, it was your stalker, wasn't it? No. No. Jason said it was yours. <laughs> that's what Jason said. We all know that's what Jason said, but we know what you saw that night. I. He walks over, standing beside the mirror. Look. Smiles, reaching out to your face. Slowly tilts the head, your head towards the mirror. You can see I always because he trusts G. Well, even in this weird vision, he'll still do what G wants. Yep, he directs your face to the mirror. He won't and comes resist it. And stands behind you with his arms wrapped around you. You can see it, can't you? It's in your eyes. His eyes. As you look closer at the mirror, you can see the same shape in your eyes. And you get a flash like thunder. No, never, never his eyes. <laughs> never. Oh, God. That's what we saw, isn't it? No, 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 you it wasn't. You can see G's face begins to twist. Blood running down the side of his mouth. He lifts his Kyle's hand up gonna... from his stomach. Blood dripping on it. Kyle's going to instantly try and reach out and stop the bleeding. He reaches hand and you can feel the warm blood taking you back. You see Kyle's that coming night. Is intensifying. You see that night looking in the mirror and holding his hand. That face. Is it your face? A stranger's face? Or your father's? <laughs> G's face begins to twist and turn. You know it wasn't the stalker. <laughs> no. And there you go. Getting another one following you. No. No. No, never. G, no, just you, just you, just you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only you. You see the face in the mirror begin to twist. Growing taller, skinny. More Hispanic facing you, Derek. <laughs> I can see what's in your heart. I no. know what you are. You can see the image, Derek, staring back at you, mouth parted, almost screaming, but you can't hear a sound. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find him. You can see the same thing's not happening to him. You see in the mirror a figure coming up behind. No, 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 please, 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 no, no. The figure comes up behind. Kyle's gonna be torn, very, very torn. He. He knows G's dead, and as much as he loves G, he knows that Derek is still alive, so he's going to try and... It may be a mirror he doesn't know, but he's going to try and protect Derek. You reach out towards the mirror, your hands scrambling against it. You can see Derek's hands reach out, pressing against the glass as the figure gets closer. And you hear a ringing in your ears. Shroom. You know that sound. The sound of your sword. Leave him alone. You can see it glinting in the light. The Leave them moves. both alone. You hear one 
Um, no. It's too late. You couldn't save me. You can't save him. And the blade. The blade you recognize. Stabs through the chest. Dare it, figure. Mashing on the on the mirror. As the figure of Derek is engulfed in flames, turns to ash, and you smash and you smash until the mirror finally crashes to the ground, shattered. You look down, see your own eyes broken across the shards, tears of blood. In your face. <laughs> oh. I'm sure. In a different voice. You hear your father's voice. You were weak then. You were weak now. No. no. And with a crash of thunder, you awaken. He screams room. his lungs out. You scream and you scream. And Tay comes in, running into the room, his gun drawn. What? 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 What is it? He looks around the room and runs over, covering you. Kyle is just literally going to bundle Tay up and roll him under him and just cling and cry his heart out all the while trying to keep this humming trying to keep his tune in his head because he doesn't want to lose himself he's gonna constantly hum and cling to Tay Tay wraps his arms around you begins humming the same song singing softly in your ear Kyle's just gonna start nuzzling in to his neck and just say it's just a bad dream it's just a bad dream. It's not real. It's just a dream. Just a dream. It's okay. I can't hurt you here. I'm here. He is literally going to start snuffling Tay's neck and basically just touching his shoulders, his arms, his hands, his face, anything to just make sure that Tay is real, is there. Feeling for his heartbeat. You can feel his heartbeat. It sounds elevated, his blood is pumping. He is roll just. Me, roll me a willpower check. Uh, three nines, a seven, and a four. You too were come. Even the smell of Tay's blood, normally so sweet, seems dampened now. You feel yourself beginning to calm softly in his arms. You begin to realize sleep. this is real. Tay, Tay, please just, just, just please stay, stay. <laughs> I need you, please, just stay, it's just okay. stay. I'm here. But we just a bad dream. I know. It's just a bad dream you're here. I am. Don't leave, no. please. Never, never. Never leave. Just... I won't. Derek, De Derek's gone. G's gone. Angel's gone. Just please, please. It's please okay. don't leave me. We'll get them. We'll get them back. Don't leave me, please. I won't. We need to move. No, no, just please stay here, please. I don't want to go. Abe sent word. He's not <laughs> had any luck finding anything. Please. But you're safe. You're safe here. Nothing hurts you here. I can stay here if you want. I won't leave without you. Where does he want me? I'm looking for this Reggie still. And Derek. 
doesn't seem to have found anything he thinks maybe he'll have more luck with you as much as I want Derek back now we at least have ideas where Reggie is we need to find Reggie first maybe finding Reggie we can find something about oh, Derek oh, I don't want to go I have to be someone else out there I don't want to go you don't have to be anyone You can be whoever you want to be. And I'll always be there with you. I don't want to be him. I don't want to be him, Tay. I don't want to be him. He holds you close and stalks you, Faith. You're you. As you look in his eyes, you can see the love he has and concern. Come on, let's get you showered up. He picks you up and takes you through to the shower. Begins washing you slowly. This continues as he looks after you and gets you ready. Getting you dressed, asking you what you want. He's Kyle's very monosyllabic and very reluctant to part with Tay, even if it's just like a hand hold, touching his shoulder, touching his hip, holding his finger. Mm -hmm. He'll do what Tay wants him to do though, because if he has to, for lack of better words, pull on his his mask and deal to find Derek, to find Reggie, he will. For every second that he doesn't have to put that mask on, he will be clinging to Tay like there is nothing else in this world for him. He's gentle with you, but firm. He does return the touches, but make sure that you're getting ready. As it comes to an end, he takes you, points you towards the mirror, and you can see yourself dressed up in your usual clothes, a stylish outfit, sitting well on you. You look in your eyes. You can see the shape. But not the darkness. Kyle still flinches back. No. Hey, do we have to have mirrors? Are mirrors really that important? I can get rid of them if you'd like. As much as I want to strip them, the boys will need them. Just, just cover the ones in my room, please. Please cover the ones in my room. I'll do that while you're away. If you need me, call me. No, Unless I you won't. Want me to come we with need... you. No, 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 you need to stay safe. Derek is already gone. I'm not losing you as well as Derek and Angel. You have to stay here. You have to stay here. Here is safe. Okay. But when you don't go anywhere, I'm safe without me. You know I'll be there to fight for you. I don't want you hurt. He smiles and strokes your face. You know I'll be fine. No. No, 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 what no, no. What do you no. want to do? This is what I want and what I need to do. What I want is to crawl back under the covers and pretend that life does continue to go on. What I need to do is pull myself together, smile, meet Abe, find Reggie, get Derek back. We have to get them back. I'll get a car for you. And he goes and gets a car. And as you bundle into the back, you begin to feel still shocked more yourself as you begin driving towards the pits and that's where we'll end that section yep